Welcome back to another torch review. I finally got hold of the Nightcore Tup. This was sent in via Nightcore for review. And we'll skim over the back just to see some of the features on this. We've got a nice OLED display and a larger 1200 milliamp hour battery included. This is what I got with the packaging, the instruction manual, and there's also another clip with a ring on it which you can attach to the body. Now onto the body itself, I've put the measurements on screen and the weight. There are two ways of looking at this. It's a fairly small EDC torch or it's a fairly large keychain torch. And one thing I do like is that clip on the back. It's very secure, stainless steel, and you have quite a bit of pressure on there. So a nice beefy clip included. And just a shot of the underside here to show you where you can attach that keychain. Now on the left hand side, you'll see we have micro USB port cover. So you'll need to put a fingernail in there just to pick that open and that exposes the port. It does close quite securely though once you've pushed it back into place. The overall fit finish on this is very similar to the tip, which I've looked at a few versions of that. It's the Type 3 anodized aluminium and it does feel very sturdy. The silver trim is a kind of plastic material, which I assume is there for the resistance, the water resistance. Onto the LED is an XPL HD V6 and they've put an optical lens on the front. So it'll be interesting to see how the beam shot is. With the buttons, they have a surround on it and they seem to be a single piece. The only thing I'd say with those is they are fairly easy to press, would have liked perhaps a bit more resistance. So when you press the mode button at the top, when the light is off, it brings up the voltage and tells you the mode that you're in and the last power level. Uh, it's quite a useful little OLED display and it's beneath quite a strong plastic cover as well. Now onto the UI, very straightforward and simple. Power button, single press on off with the mode button cycles through the four power levels. If you want to get to the turbo, you have to push and hold the mode button at the top and that stays on as long as you hold it in, but you have to keep it held in so it's a momentary turbo. Ultra low, push and hold the power button when it's off and that takes you to the lowest output. You can also switch from the two modes. You've got a demo and a daily mode. Just press the two buttons and it cycles between the two and the OLED display as well as a flash or two flashes will tell you which one you're in. The demo switches off after 30 seconds. I wouldn't use it much myself, but if you leave a light on by accident, perhaps useful. And this is an explanation on the lockout mode. Two lockout modes, the first one doesn't lock the top button out, so you still have instant access to that turbo. Whereas the second mode locks both of the buttons or switches out, so there's no accidental activation. I would definitely say, if you're putting this in a pocket because the buttons are easy to press, use the lockout too. Just showing you the different power levels and you get an estimation of runtime on this, which is a very handy feature. True, it's just an estimation, so it's not gonna be 100% accurate. I'm down on battery about 50% on this, perhaps a bit less. So it'll give you an idea of how much power you have left. So that is a really useful feature. I'd like to see the OLED turn up on more torches just because it provides good battery level indication and it'll also give you instant indication of which mode you're in. So very nice little feature on that. I got my keys out just to give you a demonstration on the size. My thoughts personally are that it might work maybe if I was replacing the leather Kangol tab I have at the top. But what I would say is the thickness, you're much better off with something like the Tinny Stroke Tiny, whatever it's called, as a keychain light because it is much smaller if you're actually putting it on the on the actual keys themselves. That's my personal opinion on that. As far as the water resistance goes, IP54, and I left it out in the rain, didn't have any issues with that, so you shouldn't have problems with a shower or getting wet. When the battery starts to get low, you'll see the buttons flash quickly and also if you hit the display or it's on, that will come up with a low battery warning and the battery symbol will show depleted, letting you know it's time to give it a charge. Now what I found with the charging is plugged it in and you get the blue LEDs flash slowly and again you can press the top button and it will give you a display showing you the voltage and the charge indicator. They go to solid when the charging is complete. Battery came in just under the 1200 milliamp hour mark, which is about as accurate as you're going to get. This is how much was charged into the battery when I depleted it. And I've put the user guide on the screen for you just to give you an idea of the operation if you want to go over that and have a look. As far as the size goes, it's obviously the largest out of the other Nightcore keychain lights, but it's the thickness which is quite a bit more. So that's why I'd call this more of an EDC light myself rather than a keychain light. 
Starting off with the top at 200 lumens, you've still got a decent output on this and then I move it right up to the top turbo level and you can see that big hot spot and that's the optical lens doing that. The output's pretty impressive for such a small torch and comparing it to the Nightcore Tinny or Tiny at the turbo, it's a much more even spread out beam so it looks like there's a lot less power, it's just pushing it out to the sides. You can see the wall shot now where it's quite diffuse on the edges with a big hot spot. So I'll run through my beam shots and come back with some thoughts and a conclusion as per usual at the end. Just to give you some thoughts and a conclusion with the Nightcore Tup, I quite like this torch, it's different, it's another model they've added to their small built-in battery rechargeable lights. For me it's more of an EDC torch and I say that because of the thickness, it might work for you on a keychain, it really depends how you look at it but for me I've got a lot of keys on my keychain already so this would take up a bit too much space but it does have a nice top end output. I don't mind the fact there's a bit of a jump from 200 to 1000 for this type of a light and there are some advantages and disadvantages versus a 16340 torch. Obviously the battery is built in so you won't be able to replace that but it does have a much higher capacity around double the capacity of a 16340 battery. Would have liked a bit more pressure on the switches but you do have the two lockout modes on there. I think it's an interesting choice, definitely something to think about though, but let me know what you think on this one and thanks very much for watching the video.